welcome back to my channel. My name's Chelsea. Hello. It's Christmas Eve and it's the second one that I've spent alone, which to be honest, doesn't really bother me at all. Let's just catch you up on New York right now. The, uh, the Omicron variant is just blowing through the city. Luckily, I have not gotten it yet, knock on wood. But um, these at-home tests have been really hard to come by before Christmas. I was going to travel after Christmas. Uh, d I had to call that off um, due to Omicron. But I was able to snag some tests. I stuck this swab up my nose and it came out negative and that was just one. So tomorrow I'm going to my friend's house. I'm gonna keep testing. I have one more test and then a whole another box. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's like no question before I go because I couldn't get a PCR. So until then, I am bringing some things up over to her house. I went and got a bottle of Prosecco. I went and got a bottle of red wine. It's a Cab Sav Shiraz blend cool and then um i'm making snickerdoodle cookies which is sort of the premise of this video i've done a bake with me before it had it no it didn't go well i think the final product just ended up molding in my apartment uh let's see how they turn out let's go So excuse my dishwasher. For some reason I started that thinking it was a good idea. So I have all the ingredients for the snickerdoodle cookies. I don't have cream of tartar. I was looking in the store and I just, I've seen it on Great British Bake Off, but I didn't know where to find it. I didn't want to go to Whole Foods. So we're gonna go without cream of tartar, but I hope it's not like a vital ingredient. I also thought this recipe said it needed shortening. So I got some. But it looks like it doesn't. We'll skip it, I guess. In a large mixing bowl, my mixing bowl is in the dishwasher. This is off to a great start. You know, we're just gonna pause. I'm gonna keep drinking some wine and we're gonna come back to this when the dishwasher is done. How about that? And we're back. <laughs> Dishes are done. The fact that this is also like pretty hot will help the butter soften, you know? That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Mixer. The last time I used one of these, yikes, it's been a long time. But we're gonna do it with, not the whiskey ones, but the, these thicker ones, cause I don't want the butter to get stuck. Do y'all ever have those days where you're just not feeling yourself at all? Cause that's how I'm feeling today. I, I don't feel cute. I don't feel confident at all. So it's a surprise that I actually picked up the camera. So this is half a cup and, I, oh, where's the rest of the Cream butter and sugar for four to five minutes until light and fluffy. So I'm supposed to do unsalted butter, but I accidentally bought salted, so whatever. And how much sugar? One and a half cup. <laughs> this sugar is like <laughs> from last year. Ooh, baby. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna blend this bitch. Ah. Ah. The second setting is like really powerful. Maybe I need to like break it up with a fork a little bit. Were any of you like the weirdo kid that used to eat sticks of butter? <laughs> That was me. Came home from school and would sneak snacks of butter and sugar. And now there's has not changed. Still just as good. Okay, that's fluffy. I think it's pretty good. So what's next? Add eggs and vanilla. Very fluffy. 
two eggs. Open here, but it's not open. And then vanilla, two teaspoons. You know, I read somewhere on Instagram that that an ingredient used in vanilla is like secretions from a beaver's butthole or something. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, I, I, I can't stop thinking about it. Wow, this is good. This is going well, you guys. Wow. Stir in flour, cream of tartar, which we don't have. Baking soda and salt. Okay. Is this a big enough bowl? Probably not, but it's the biggest we have. I need wine. I'm tired of slouching like this. <laughs> Two and three quarters cup of flour in this tiny little bowl. Okay. Oh my God. Butter is everywhere. Two, one. Okay, cool. Baking soda is a half a teaspoon. Focus, focus. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then salt. But there's already salt in the butter, so I'm not gonna add salt. I feel like that's a good call. Stir it until just combined. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is very full. I almost feel like I want to just get in there with my hands, you know? It's coming together. I should have like unplugged this. It's not Christmas without like it's something. Really tasty. This is going to be a travesty when I end up having kids. Because then I can't eat this anymore. I have to give it to them. Ugh. I'll bring you back when this is done. So it said only stir until it's just combined. And I feel like that is just combined. What do you think? And then in a small bowl, stir together more sugar and cinnamon. Wrap the dough and let refrigerate in 20-30 minutes. Well, we can try, right? It's 8 o'clock on a night where I don't have any plans. Let's refrigerate it, I guess. Maybe a little undermixed. <laughs> it's a bit crumbly. Great. Amazing. Let's let that chill, touching it more. Look at this. It's great having black floors, isn't it? Okay. I'm annihilating this. I just wanted to also say thank you so much for the really kind comments and the and the positive feedback from my video, like returning to YouTube, honestly, it really uh, it validated my feelings for wanting to come back. And it, it was just so great. And like I said, it's never about the numbers for me or the money really. Eventually I would like it to be. Something I didn't really get into in that video was the fact that I just sort of, I was really struggling in that time period where I wasn't posting to give people access to me because, you know, as I'm talking about work and can't really share a lot about that, I can say that my job requires multiple people to have full access to me. Being an executive and personal assistant for multiple people, it's just, <laughs> you forget to take care of yourself. And I'm, I'm sort of like got this protective boundary. I'm like, I, around myself because I, was just not giving myself enough attention. Can anyone else relate to this? Are there any assistants out there who do, who feel this way too? And it came too, also with my Instagram, putting it on private for a while. Like I just didn't want to give the internet access to me because I already felt like there was nothing left for me to give. And that therefore like I, my cup was not full. I couldn't give anything to YouTube. I mean, we don't have to keep, you know, going over that over and over again. Like we're moving forward, we're in YouTube, like it's exciting and fun and new, but it's really something I'm struggling with right now. I mean, I am really grateful. Like this time last year, I you know, was still unemployed and I was going through a breakup and, and now I'm in a much different place now. I'm excited for this week as I was able to, to actually take the whole week off. So today's Friday, Christmas Eve, and this is my first day off of my like 
12 or 13 day vacation. <laughs> I feel like I've blabbed on enough now where the cookie dough is done cooling. I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen a little bit and then we're gonna bake them. Eee! Okay, so now we can get small bowl, a quarter cup of sugar, and then one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. Okay. Now we're gonna whisk that. Oh my God, that smells good. <coughs> wow, went up my nose. All right, this feels really chilled and nice. And we got the baking sheet here. Boom. That's supposed to be parchment paper, but... Oh, now we can preheat, okay. Roll into small bowl, balls, balls. <laughs> Drop into the cinnamon sugar mixture and coat well. seconds to have the second round finished by the time the other one gets out. Wow, you're so pretty. They're a little bit bigger than I thought. Overall, I feel like this was a pretty successful <laughs> baking venture. Although I don't, um, normally at the end of a video, I would eat one and tell you if it's good, if I've really succeeded, but I had so much cookie dough. I do not want a cookie right now. I'll leave in a comment if they were good. I appreciate y'all tuning in and I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope it was cozy. And if you're isolating like most people in New York City this holiday season, I mean, I hope you found a good show to binge watch on Netflix. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Y'all are great. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.